Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Comica CVM VM20 Super Cardioid Condenser Shotgun Microphone. So let's jump right into this. None of the audio that you're going to listen to in this video will be edited. It is all going to be straight out of camera. I'll just put the setting that I'm using so you guys know how I'm recording it for each uh, respective clip. And I recommend you guys use headphones to listen to this video just so you can get a better idea of what the audio sounds like. And full disclosure, this video is not a sponsored video. This microphone wasn't sent to me by Comica. I purchased this microphone because I was looking for a mic or a versatile mic for my YouTube slash home studio needs. And this has quickly become my favorite microphone for those uh, for, for that use. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's included with this mic. You get a high quality case, a carrying case for your mic where you can store it and it uh, protects your microphone really well uh, while you're traveling or if you throw this in your bag, it's uh, really well protected in this case. You get one TRS to TRS cable. You get another TRS to TRRS cable, which comes in really handy for use with mobile devices or even your laptop. Uh, you get one wind muff and one windscreen. Uh, real quick, I want to mention the price point. This mic is being sold at currently, well, at the time of making this video, at 129 US dollars. So, in my opinion, it's a good value for all the features you get. Uh, mainly use this mic so far for talking headshots here at home. I usually put it on a boomstick and put it above my head and do talking headshots that way. This mic is very good for also for podcasters. If you want to connect this to your laptop, which is, by the way, what I'm currently. Uh, recording this at this moment. I'm on my laptop using Adobe Edition uh, to do voiceovers. Uh, that is uh, another thing that I would probably be using this microphone for. So very useful in that aspect. In addition to that, you can use the microphone on your DSLR or your mirrorless camera, your DSLM, as a shotgun mic on mounted on the top of your uh, hot shoe mount there and vlog with it for run and gun style shooting. Uh, personally, for me, it's a little too big for vlogging. I have a, a different mic where I like, I prefer using smaller, more compact mics for vlog uh, style uh, videos, but you can use it. Now this microphone features two low cut filter modes. One is for 75 Hertz. The other one is 150 Hertz. And these are very useful uh, for cutting out unwanted noise. And it also has a nice shock mount, which also helps eliminate any rattling or vibrations uh, so that is uh, another feature that this microphone has. In addition to that, you have a display display mode up on top. It's an OLED display, which displays the battery level, which is great. It helps you keep track of how much power you have on this mic. This microphone does have a built-in lithium battery, which is a rechargeable lithium battery. And it has a USB-C port on the side that allows you to charge or recharge the battery that way. And you could also use the microphone while it's charging, which is uh, pretty cool as well. Comes in uh, useful also for those long shoots. Comica states that this microphone lasts up to 60 hours. As of now, I can't say that for sure, that it will last that long. But in my experience, I've used the mic for about three to four times a week for a little over, for almost three weeks now, without having to charge it. And it's still showing about three quarters of a, a battery left. So the battery power seems pretty, uh, or the battery seems pretty solid in that in that aspect. The microphone is pretty lightweight. Uh, the construction is very sol solid. It seems to be all metal construction. Uh, has a nice design in my opinion. And uh, on the rear end of the microphone there, you have an adjustable stepless gain control, which uh, is very smooth. That, that, that gain control is very smooth there. Okay, it's been unusually cold here in Tampa and it's really windy today. So I'm gonna go in the backyard, throw the wind muff on, and we're gonna see how good this uh, wind muff works on this mic. So let's go out. All right, guys, I'm out here in the backyard. We've got a windy day over here in Tampa. You see the wind blowing. I don't have the wind muff on. I just have the windscreen on. And I'm about a foot away from the camera here, just vlogging out here. So check one, two, three, check one, two, three. I have the uh, gain set to four on the microphone and on the Sony Ace 7C, I have it to plus one in the, uh, in camera setting so this is just a short test shot without the wind muff i'm going to throw the wind muff on next as you can see here and we're going to test it out and see how well this does when it's still blowing i have the uh, wind muff on on top of the windscreen 
And so the same distance, same settings on the Sony a7C. And let me know what you guys think. Is it doing a better job of protecting against the wind? You know, keeping that, that sound out. Check one, two, three, check one, two, three. This is a test shot with the wind muff on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So hopefully it's doing a good job, uh, you know, for the wind there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Check one, two, three, check one, two, three. All right, this is a test shot with the wind muff on and I have the low cut filter on 75 uh, decibels. Check one, two, three. Again, same settings with the low cut filter on. One, two, three, checking one, two, three. Now I'm gonna switch it over to the uh, 150 decibel one. So here we go. Okay, so now I have the uh, low cut filter at 150. Here we are with the wind muff on as well. Same settings on the Sony A7C. We have a light breeze coming through right now. Let's see if it'll pick up a little bit. And here we go. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. This is a test shot with the wind muff on and the low cut filter at 150. Check one, two, three. Okay, so I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys that I got the microphone hooked up to my iPhone 12 mini and I have the dead cat on. It's really windy out here. It's been windy all day like I showed you guys earlier with my other shots. But I wanted to show you a sample of the uh, phone or the microphone working on the uh, iPhone 12 mini. And I have the uh, uh, low cut filter at 75 hertz turned on. So that should help with the... Uh, with the wind noise in the background. What do you guys think? How am I sounding uh, right here? And I'm, by the way, I'm also using the Filmic Pro app. It gives me more control on my audio options versus the native app on the iPhone. So uh, again, this is just a sample shot of how you could do it. I'm just gonna hold it here and kind of vlog on myself. Uh, great for conventions or expos, or if you're doing live streams on your smartphone, this is a good option to have. You can, you're able to use a microphone to improve that audio quality. So I'm in my office here. This room is not soundproof or treated for sound. Just as a small little room here, I have the uh, mic up here on a boom stick and I do not have any of the uh, low cut filters on. So just want to give you a quick shot of me on an indoor shot. I'm gonna be quiet for a second because right above here, I have a light and it has a fan. Let's see if you guys can pick that up. Anyways, now I'm gonna turn on the uh, low cut filter on the mic. So now I have the low cut filter on right above me. Same same scenario here in the office. Just kind of talking to give you guys more to listen to. No uh, no uh, soundproofing. Nothing on the uh, in this little room here of mine. My YouTube studio. So test one two three. Test one two three with the low cut filter on seventy five hertz. And just so you guys can get a comparison, I have two mics here, the Tascar uh, SGC598. I've had this microphone forever, and I've used it here a lot as a boom, on the boomstick. And then I have the Dady D or DD D4 Duo, and I'm going to have the front mic on it, and I'm going to put them up above. Just give you guys a quick comparison shot so you guys can hear what this sounds like. Okay, guys, so I now have the Tascar microphone on the boomstick here right above me. And I had to change the setting in the Sony a7C. I changed the gain in the camera to seven, to plus seven. The boost on the mic is plus 10, because otherwise I wasn't, uh, it wasn't really picking up my voice really well. So just to give you guys an idea of all the extra stuff I had to do to match or try to get even in the same range as the uh, Comica mic. So check one, two, three, check one, two, three. No low cut filter is on right now. This is just with a 10, uh, 10 decibel boost on the tax star. Check one, two, three, here we go. All right guys, so now I have the DD or DD D4 dual mic and it's right above me. And because this mic is a little bit smaller, more uh, compact than the others, I was able to drop it to get it a little bit closer to me. The Sony A7C is remained on plus seven in the volume control there or the gain control in camera. This microphone does not have any gain control on it. It's just the uh, front microphone on right now. So check one, two, three. Again, this is just so you guys can get an idea of how the Comica sounds versus other mics. These are the only two mics, other two mics that I have. And I'm just kind of talking a little bit so you guys can compare it to the other shot with the Comica. Check one, two, three. What do you guys think? Let me know. Okay guys, so what do you guys think of those shots? I just listened to them on with headphones on. And I thought the, uh, the 
the comic did very well in comparison to the other two mics. And uh, you can still listen, you can still hear the, if you listen closely, you can still hear the fan up here from that light. But uh, it does a good job overall. I'm, I'm pleased with that. There are a couple of things I don't like about the mic. Uh, the fact that you have to power it on sometimes. Uh, there was a couple of shots that I, I forgot to power the microphone on. And uh, so you got to make, you know, make sure you power it on and power it off. Because if you don't power it off, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be out of juice. So just keep, in, keep that in mind. Also, the uh, shock mount, I felt like it's a little loose. It does, it does its job in, in terms of uh, absorbing the, the movement of the mic when it's on top of the camera and you're vlogging. But the actual, the way it grips the mic, to me, it's a little too loose for my liking. Uh, but that's just me nitpicking. And then the wind muff, I thought uh, the, it didn't really do that good of a job. So I may buy a third party one and use a third party wind muff for this microphone. Uh, the windscreen works fine indoors. But the wind muff, the one that I use outdoors, I, I think it could do better. But um, so I didn't, I didn't really like that about the mic. But overall, I do like the design of the microphone. The build quality is solid, and I think it's a great value at $129. So I'm very pleased with the uh, sound quality, the 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 performance it does. It's very versatile. Like I said, you could use it for several different things. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link down in the description for you to check out. It is an affiliate link. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you check out my other videos up here. Like, subscribe, comment. Take care, guys. Peace.